Hey, fly peeps, Bernice Fly Girl Armor coming at you for the very first time, video one of the series, Conquering COVID Chaos. And I'll be honest with you, I was trying to figure out, you know, what do I say in this first video? And I knew without a doubt I had to talk about great grandmother and my grandmother and COVID. So for like literally a couple months, um, COVID hadn't impacted me personally. Like I had friends who had a friend or family member that might have been hospitalized or had it or someone knew someone who knew someone. Uh, and last week, my grandmother passed away on Wednesday. She was 97. She had an amazing life. And um, her nurse shared with our family that she had COVID, that the nurse had COVID. My cousin got tested. She has COVID. And another family member probably has COVID. So uh, very quickly, just bam, right in my life, right? And that's how it is for literally hundreds of thousands, like millions of people around the world. Family members here today, healthy, 30s, 40s, here today, gone tomorrow. It's a crazy time. Uh, a world pandemic, our world has shut down. People have lost jobs um, and lives of precious ones. So what could I say that would help move us forward and uplift our spirits in a time like this? And I knew I could remember my grandmother and her mother, my great grandmother. My dad would always go down to visit great grandmother in the summers. And uh, you know, when Sometimes he wasn't doing the best, you know, they'd send him down. Go to your grandparents, right? That's how we did it in the South. And, you know, dad, would, he was Mr. Philosophy. And he would always tell us stories and um, lessons and nuggets about life. And I remember he was down visiting Uncle Brown. And he told a story about Uncle Brown. And Uncle Brown said, son, we're all going to do our thing. And you're going to come down here and go to college and get your education. But just remember one thing, and he did say education. But just remember one thing, our purpose, the reason we're here is to bless each other and help each other. I still remember my dad telling me that story. Now, it helps that my dad has told me that story literally probably hundreds of times because he probably doesn't remember that he told us the story. So he tells it again like it's the first time he's ever telling us the story. But it's always awesome, every time. And uh, he talked about great-grandmother. And he reminded me of the saying that she had that was just amazing, right? And then I loved it. it and again, we're from the South, so all grannies have isms. My great-grandmother was no different. She would say, something good is going to come out of this, right? I mean, and it was probably my favorite because she put her whole body into it, shook all over. Something good is going to come out of this, all right? Well, feisty does not encapsulate who great-grandmother was. And she was actually the first African-American female unity minister alongside Johnny Coleman, right? Uh, way back in the day. And back in the 40s, great-grandmother decided it was time for a new car. So she drove down to the Cadillac dealership and bought a brand new caddy off the showroom floor. Now, this is deep. Think about the 40s. Black woman by herself. I mean, a woman couldn't even go down to Sears and buy a washer and dryer set by herself without her husband's approval. Great grandmother by herself in the 40s, black woman, drove down to the Cadillac dealership and bought a brand new caddy off the showroom floor. Two days later, total. But what did great grandmother say? Something good is gonna come out of this. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know if she said it that way. <laughs> but nah, great grandmother said it with conviction every time every time so my question for you in this moment is what's your live by phrase what's your live by mentality as we go through this immediate moment as we move to the future as we spend time with our kids I hear little feet coming she's close I call it quarantine with the family how are we reinventing ourselves through this disruption? Like this is where innovation happens, right? 
The last recession created many millionaires of people who weren't. They, they couldn't find when they were ready to step out and make their, their gutsy move, right? Because of the security of this and that. Now is your time. Now is our time. And no matter what you're going through, and believe me, my heart goes out to all the families who've lost loved ones. Believe me, I know what you're feeling. So, sidebar. I was talking to a friend, and we were reviewing, editing the video, and she said, well, do people have their own live-by phrase? When did they use this live-by phrase? And I said, wow, great questions. And uh, I wanted to come back and clarify that. So when would you use something good's going to come out of this? So example, uh, someone after a keynote shot me an email and said, hey, you know, a couple months ago, saw your keynote. I was stranded in the airport, snowstorm. My flight was delayed, had a meeting to get to. And I just thought to myself, something good's going to come out of this. And I started working on another solution or uh, got laid off from a job. Something good's going to come out of this. How do I create the good? And that's the key. You're not waiting for a break. You're making your break. You're looking for the good. How do you create the good out of the opportunity as well? Yes, the situation is there. Something good's going to come out of this. And then that's the moment you move into, into action to create your good. Now, I'm going, I'm going back to it. So in the words of Uncle Brown, just remember, we're all here to bless each other and help each other. And in the words of great grandmother, I, I mean, I had to make my own button, you guys. Because sometimes you just got to hit it, right? When the times get tough, I just needed something there. So here we are. Something good's gonna come at this. Stay gutsy. Love you, grandmother. Mm -hmm.